Hello again everyone and welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs and today we are doing something very similar to our diving into the baseball card PC series. Today we are diving into my basketball card PC. Of course this is not the Celtics which I've already showed off. You can go back and watch those on YouTube. This is the Hall of Famer and Star Box. And much like our baseball, we're going to be going in alphabetical order from first name. Starting off with A, of course this is part one, which means we are going to be kicking it with AI to begin things. Here's his 96 basketball rookies college, number one out of the set there. Here's another out of their subset. We've got a ton of these basketball to get through. 97, 98 Finest, that's a really nice one there, looks off-center left to right, but still a good one nonetheless. 97, 98 Fleer, Traditions Crystal, that is a parallel. Here's another really good one, 97, 98 Metal Universe, very nice looking AI there. No actual AI rookie cards, but of course as you saw there we do have his college, some uh, 2000, 2001 victory there, and we get later into his career, his time with the Denver Nuggets, that's 0809 Tops, crossing up a young Lou Williams on AI's former team, the Sixers, some 1213 Panini there, and then we finish it off with some hoops. Our next man up, we do have some of his rookies, Hall of Famer Alonzo Mourning, there's his 92 classic draft picks. 92-93 Fleer rookie, and this one is in really nice shape despite the tape on the top loader. There's his Skybox rookie, and then 92-93 Skybox draft pick insert. You saw us pull that out of our wax uh, opening for 92-93 Skybox. Of course, you can go back and watch that as well. Future Force, that's 92-93 Upper Deck Preview. You get those cards at McDonald's. Here's a kind of low print run, I guess, for the 90s. That's 93 Classic Draft Picks. LPs insert for Zoe. Some 93-94 Fleer. Of course, here's his time, obviously, with the Charlotte Hornets before he made his way to the Miami Heat. Here's the 94 Skybox USA. We opened that box here on the channel. Go back and check that one out. We have all of the mornings from that set, and of course we do have the complete set as well. Here's an insert from the Ted Williams collection. Uh, kind of interesting pattern on the card there. Some 94 Upper Deck USA Basketball. Here's one with a Michael Jordan facsimile autograph on there. Some 94-95 Collector's Choice. Here's another decent finest, that's 94-95 Tops Finest. Does not have the uh, plastic, not foil, but like protector on it any longer. S some 94-95 Tops, is all-star card there. And then here is the foil version, so was injured that year, you can see him shooting the S with fellow 92-93 draft pick Shaquille O'Neal. I don't think that these are in um, chronological order. I think they were at one point and then I just started uh, not really caring so much. Some 95-96 hoops. There's an insert slam land. Of course this happens a lot with the foil from those 95-96 Slam Land inserts. There's SP Championship, 96 Pacific, I believe that one is. 96 Signature Rookies, Primetime Powers Die Cut insert there. Actually, I think that's 95 Signature Rookies. There's another Finest. This is Top's Finest Mystery out of 96-97. Some Bowman's Best, so putting one down on fellow Georgetown alumni Patrick Ewing, also Hall of Famer, 97, 98 finest there. Lots of finest. A lot of this stuff came out of the big collection that I bought off a friend earlier this year, back in January actually. 
Um, but then a lot of it also has come from me opening packs and from my own personal collection I had before that trading places. There's an insert there from NBA Hoops. Here's some optic insert Hulk Kings. Alonzo Morning there. And then I think this is 1718 Prism or 1819. That is an insert there. And this is 1718 Alonzo Morning Fundamentals. On to our next man in the letter A. This guy, I've kind of made a special exception for Anthony Hardaway. Of course, I think I've talked about how I have. There's Classic Futures. And then another one of 12,500 on the back of this one. The number one pick in the man that he was traded for, Chris Weber. Here's his 93-94 rookie for Fleer. There's the Hoops version. This is 93-94 Skybox, not his rookie card. Subset there, and there is his Topps rookie. And then Topps Black Gold. That came out of a complete set of 93-94 Topps that I picked up. Here's his Fleer Ultra rookie card as well. Uh, so as I was saying, I have talked about how I have <clears throat> guys that uh, have made all-star teams but are not like Hall of Famers really. Uh, I do kind of collect their cards, I guess, to a certain degree. Uh, but I keep those in binders, not in this box here, because they aren't really worth much of anything. You know, it's guys like uh, like Chris Gatling made an all-star team. Um, who else? Jamal Mashburn. Uh, a lot of like lower name kind of guys. Here's a 95-96 hoops insert, top 10 all-time rookie team. Uh, so Anthony Hardaway kind of falls in that category. And I have a couple other guys in this box that also fall under that category. 96 Skybox USA here. That was Dream Team 3 that Penny was a part of. Uh, like Chris Weber, who we will take a look at here. Um, I think this is 96, 97 collector's choice. Had a subset for Penny. There's another nice finest there, off center, left, right. This one's still got the plastic protector. 96, 97 flare showcase there. Another flare showcase. I can't remember if that's like a row zero or whatever it was they called that there. All star insert, or not insert, subset. 96, 97 flare. More tops finest here. This is 97, 98 creators. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, like, I know Penny was such a big name when I was a kid that I just kind of have a soft spot for him. Same with, like, Chris Webber. But, like, technically, I guess he should be in the All-Star Binders, because I don't think he's ever going to be a Hall of Famer. Current player here, Anthony Davis. I don't have any Anthony Davis rookie cards. Someday we will look to acquire at least one of those and insert here out of 16, 17 threads. Some 17 Contenders draft picks, a little 17-18 Optic there, more inserts, and a bunch of parallels here for AD. Another one there that's 18 Contenders draft picks Legacy. Little hoops here, here's some Panini status symbols. This is 18-19 threads, then a little bit of 19-20 not yet pictured in his Lakers uniform until his 18, or 1920 optic. The only card I have of AD in his Lakers uniform. Here's another current player here. Ben Simmons. There is his Donruss rookie card and then rookie Kings. Here's Acetate rookies. You saw us pull this previously on the channel. You can go back and check that out. Out of 1617 Prestige, a little optic there. More optic Court Kings insert. Another Essential Stars. You saw we had the Anthony Davis of that as well. 1718 Prestige there. And then 1920, or sorry, 1819 Don Russ. Here's kind of another lower level name, but he is a Hall of Famer. Good old BK Bernard King was an absolute scoring machine for the New York Knicks in the 80s before a devastating knee injury. And then he had quite the comeback story coming back to make an all-star team once again 
as a member of the Washington Bullets. And then here's Hall of Fame Heroes. That is out of NBA Hoops, I believe. 13, 14 Panini Hoops. Insert there. A couple of, uh, not much value here, but Bill Bradley is, of course, a Hall of Famer. We do have that complete set as well. And then another one, we're getting into the Bs, obviously, Bill Walton there. On to another current player here. Here's Blake Griffin. Or as we call our friend Blake, Blocky. Our friend uh, Blake Dean, we call him Blocky or Black Dean. Due to a previous spelling mix-up on a text message, somebody accidentally called him Black Dean, so that kind of stuck. There is uh, like a prism... Uh, optic, basically, basically a refractor, Hardcore Heroes there. There's his 1819 Donruss. Here's a variant out of 2019 Panini Contenders. And then Blake's 1920 Donruss. Of course, Blake Griffin has really kind of fallen off. He was a one of the top stars in the league, Bob Lanier there, <clears throat> when he first entered, but has really kind of fallen off due to injuries. Here's a cool one here, 8081 Tops. Bob McAdoo, Marcus Johnson, and then Don Ford is not really a name, but Bob McAdoo and Marcus Johnson both are. I have uh, quite a few of these with some Hall of Fame players. And here's a Bob McAdoo Retro Series insert out of Optic. This is 1819 uh, Optic, or maybe 1718. Can't remember. Some more of those 93 action pack. Bob Pettit there. Here's 96, 97 top stars. Bob Pettit. Greats of the game for upper deck. And then Heroes of the Hall. I think this is out of 1213 Panini. Indeed it is. 1213 Panini, of course, loaded with rookie cards. You had two years worth of rookies in there, and we do have some of those good ones. Here's another really cool 8081. Off center, left, right, but who cares? Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy. Uh, as well as Mo Cheeks there, and of course Greg Kelser is the low man on the totem pole, and then the 93 action pack, Calvin Murphy. On to our next current player, here's Carmelo Anthony, one of many guys whose rookie cards I have owned in the past, there's a nice one there, Panini Select USA Basketball, uh, that I no longer own, I've had intermittent periods where I've basically sold off my entire collection which unfortunately for me included things such as there's a Panini Ascension there, those are really cool like a Carmelo Anthony rookie, Dwayne Wade rookie multiple LeBron James rookies really kicking myself for that 95-96 uh, Topps Finest Kevin Garnett rookie, like basically everybody you can think of Hall of Famer Charles Barkley here there's 89-90 uh, hoops of course, he began his career with the Sixers, Fleer All-Stars insert out of 90-91. These are, of course, SPs, but there's a ton of them, so how short of a print is a short print, really, when the print runs not that short? Say that five times fast. 91-92 Fleer Provisions there. Have tons of Barkley cards here. Barkley was one of the many... Um, old school champion NBA jerseys that I owned back in the day. I had his uh, home Phoenix Suns jersey. I had quite a few of them. Here's that 92 Skybox USA for the Dream Team that we ripped back in our new Hasbros and ripping some 92 Skybox USA video. 92 93 Fleer there. A little bit more of the slam dunk subset, and then that's out of Series 2. 92-93 hoops here, Series 1 and 2. And same with the Skybox, Series 1 and 2. Here is the Olympic inserts. Again, you saw us pull that on the channel. Here's 92-93 Beam Team. This has other Hall of Famers here, but I chose uh, to just put it in with the Barclays. There he is with Drexler and Reggie Miller. 92-93 Upper Deck, 92-93 Upper Deck All-NBA Team Insert. 
Here's a nice one. This uh, These cards are really going up in value. This is 93, 94 tops, finest. And uh, this is a subset here, the Pacific's finest, the Pacific Division. Stack number two for Sir Charles. We do have his regular base in that 93, 94 finest. More than halfway through here, part one. 93, 94 Stadium Club there. There's the Rim Rockers insert for Sir Charles. 94 star, no logos or numbers here, which is unusual that they don't have the numbers. 93, 94 tops. We do have the complete set. There's the tops gold future scoring leader for Chuck. And some 93, 94 upper deck here. Subset. Lots of subsets there. Here's the locker talk insert. It does look like there's some paper loss up there, but that's actually just part of the photo. There's the 3D Pro View. Collector's choice. Here's his 94, 95 finest. This one does have the plastic protector still on. Like I said, lots of Sir Charles here. One of my all-time favorite players, 94-95 Stadium Club. That's a subset. College teammates there with Chuck Person. And this one is an insert. It's Dynasty and Destiny. I believe the other part of this is Chris Weber, which we do have. That was a insert set looking at veterans matched up with the new crop of NBA players. 95-96 hoops there. Some more 96-97 Skybox Z Force. That's a really cool looking Charles Barkley there. Again, more of that 96-97 Top Star. Some Skybox Premium. This is Charles' final years. Again, here's another card that looks like it has paper loss there, but that is actually part of the design. And here is, what year is this? 97, 98? This is 90, no, 99, 2000. Stadium Club, Sir Charles finishing his career with the Houston Rockets. Another Hall of Famer here, one with not a ton of value, Chris Mullen. I always enjoyed Chris Mullen. I liked using him um, on the old school NBA Jam because I like to go for the three pointers more so than the alley oops. There's hoops out of McDonald's as well as that Dream Team card there. 91 92 hoops. 91 92 upper decks. That's another complete set that we have. We might start looking uh, at the complete sets once again. The only thing with those is I haven't done them really in a while because they're kind of a pain because I have to pull them all out of the binder. Um, at one point we were looking at them still in the binder. There's another nice one, Pacific's Finest. Uh, however, since I got a new phone um, and I'm not using my old iPhone to record anymore, I'm using this new Android that I had got last Christmas as a Christmas gift. A couple former All-Stars there, BJ and Mullen. Kenny Smith is not. Um, I'm not able to really keep them in the binder to look at them anymore. Um, and plus there's just a lot of glare as well. You can see there's a light above us and you can see it shining here on the table. Um, so that didn't always look as good as it could have. There's some St. John's college teammates. And look at Mullen with that old 80s haircut there. I don't ever remember Mullen with that haircut. I only ever remember him with his trademark flat top and then of course he would later shave his head in the latter part of his career with the Indiana Pacers. There's some 96-97 tops chrome and that's a really nice one actually. The centering on that is pretty good. Oh, almost went out of order there. And the final one for Chris Mullen at the end of his career there. Back to another current player whose rookie card I had previously sold. Wishing I hadn't done that. Here's Chris Paul. Chris Paul is for sure a Hall of Famer. Court Vision, an insert out of Panini Complete there. Here's a Donruss insert, All-Stars. 
did not ever like this Donruss design. That was, of course, 1718. There's the optic there. I just didn't really care for, like, the bronze-brown cucka color on the border, for lack of a better term. I wasn't really a big fan of that that year of Donruss. Although there are some good rookies in there. And here's some 1920 Optic Express Lane. And insert there for Chris Paul. One more Chris coming up. We mentioned him earlier in the video. Chris Weber. Again, he probably uh, should be in my All-Star binder. But was a huge name when I was a kid. So he's in here. And I think Weber has a pretty good argument to get into the Hall of Fame, honestly. Here's his 93-94 Fleer rookie card, and this one has excellent centering on it, as you can see there. There's 93-94 Hoops rookie, Stadium Club rookie there, Stadium Club New Wave subset looking at the young stars. There's the tops rookie, and then we get into some 94 Classic. Of course, Weber spent very little time with the Warriors there, making his way to the Bullets. In just his second season um, had some issues uh, there's the destiny the other half of the Charles Barkley dynasty and destiny insert uh, Weber had some issues with I think it was like the coaching staff or the front office or whatever it was he did not like playing center which was pretty unfortunate because um, the Warriors had a lot of talent at that point. They still had Chris Mullen, they had Weber, they had a young uh, burgeoning all-star in Latrell Sprewell to go along with Weber. There's Weber again with his Michigan teammates, Jalen Rose and Jimmy King, part of the Fab Five. Finishers out of Top's Finest, good looking card there. And then here's the team he's probably most, most known playing for the Sacramento Kings, if we get into 2000, 2001 victory there, here's 0304 uh, Authentics or 0405? It's 0304, here's Flair Avant, or Fleer Avant, beautiful looking card there. UD Legends, Upper Deck Sweet Spot, here's 0607 Bowman, his final years, there's the Bowman Chrome with the Philadelphia 76ers. I think, didn't he make his way back to the Kings and then retired? I believe that is the case. Almost through our part one here. Another Hall of Famer, Clyde the Clyde Drexler. There's a classic one there. That's 88, 89 Fleer. Of course, we have the Dennis Rodman rookie out of 88, 89 Fleer. As well as the Reggie Miller, which we will see in some of the upcoming parts of diving into our basketball PC. A lot more 91, 92 upper deck. Pretty sure I had bought one complete set of that to break apart and then one just to have. Back when you could get 91, 92 upper deck for, uh, the reasonable price of like five or ten bucks which is no really not really any longer the case there's a nice pacific's finest out of 93 94 tops finest off center left to right there 91 92 upper deck uh sets and wax boxes are like about 15 to 20 dollars now because everybody went crazy for jordan obviously we will see Jordan in our diving into the basketball cart PC at some point. He'll probably come up in one of the later parts. There's another Dynasty and Destiny insert for Drexler. The other half of him, I'm pretty sure, is Isaiah Ryder. 95-96, finest off-centered. Some of these are a little bit dinged up, like this one here. That's an insert. Out of 95, 96 hoops, you can see some paper loss there. Top Stars Golden Season, 96, 97. Here's Top Stars. I can't remember if they called that actually Chrome or not. And then our final Drexler there, Fleer Ultra. And we've only got a couple more cards to look at here. 
as we've seen all the best stuff out of part one. Here is Connie Hawkins, 93 Action Packed. And then 12, 13 Panini. So, like I said, some pretty decent stuff here in my basketball card PC. We'll put, put some things down to look at here as we end out this video. Part one of diving into our basketball card PC. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, also down below. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Headlocks and Hot Packs.